Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Today's episode is going to be on knife safety. Now, I know I sh probably should be doing this video outside, but it's been uh, freezing cold, and I don't have the luxury of just popping into the woods when I want. Anything from the city is about an hour away, uh, roughly. Like. So, I'm doing this video at home. So, like I said before, this is a knife safety video. We're just going to go over a few quick uh, safety tips. Now, there's probably thousands of videos on the internet about knife safety. This is just my little quick spin on it. So let's get right into it. All right, so number one is treat every knife like it's sharp. It's the same rule as treating every gun like it's loaded. It creates good habits when handling a knife. When handing it off to somebody, when someone handing it to you, if you treat a knife, every knife like it's sharp, you won't have any accidents or you minimize your accidents. Sorry. Number two, every knife is a tool or a weapon, not a toy, all right? And a tool as in use it to carve wood, use it to cut something in the woods, use it to skin an animal. Whatever it is, you're going to use the knife like it's a knife, and not like a hammer and not like a screwdriver. Number three, keep your knife healthy. That's uh, different from keeping your knife sharp, which we'll get into in a little bit. But keeping your knife healthy means make sure there's no cracks, make sure there's no chips, make sure there's no rust. And the same concept goes for your, your sheath. Make sure your sheath is healthy, make sure it's not cracking, make sure there's no holes in it. If there's any screws or rivets, make sure the rivets and screws are there. Just overall, check your knife before using. Number four, always keep your knife sheathed, or if it's a folding knife, keep it closed. Never leave your knife laying around unsheathed or open. So if you have a knife like this, folding knife, right? Make sure it's closed and put it down wherever you want. Don't leave it laying around open. The same thing goes for a sheath knife, right? Make sure you put it back in the sheath. Never leave it laying around and don't do this, right? For the, for the sake of the video. So if you have a bench and you're sitting on a bench, don't leave this knife jabbed into the wood like so, and then someone sits next to it or, or pretty much right on top of it, and you get someone badly hurt because you were neglecting your knife's uh, whereabouts. Number five, create the blood circle. Now, a blood circle is a circle where inside that circle is the, uh, is the blood circle, is the, is the danger zone, if you will. Outside of the blood circle is the safe zone, right? So if this, my hand, the edge of my hands right here is the knife, Outside of the knife here is the safe zone. Inside of the knife here or here is the danger zone. Stay out of the danger zone. Stay in the safe zone when it comes to knives. Now, when you have kids involved, I would have a kid or kids take the knife that sheath or stick and have them hold it out. And the end of this knife or stick, which is here, is the extension you want to add to when you're dealing with kids. Kids are amazing. They do some uh, really crazy shit when it comes to knives or just tools in general. So to create an, uh, an extra buffer zone between other kids and the kid dealing with the knife or kids dealing with the knives, make sure you extend that blood circle a little further than you would an adult. Which leads me to number six, respect the blood circle. Make sure everybody who is dealing with a knife respects the other person's blood circle and make sure that if someone is dealing with a knife that you don't enter their blood circle, meaning you just don't walk right up on them while they're, they're carving something or cutting something because accidents happen that way, right? Make sure you respect the other person's blood circle. Number seven, cut away from the body, all right? So now you're cutting a piece of wood, right? And this is your knife. You never want to cut towards the body, right? You want to keep the knife, first of all, with the blade, you always want to keep the blade going away from the body, right? So away like this, never towards yourself like this. Now, I did see somebody pull this act. So they're cutting a piece of wood, which is along their forearm, and they're cutting into them. First of all, standing is a, is a no-go, no and cutting into yourself, he was asking to cut into his brachial artery, which 
he would have bled out in a couple seconds. So if you're going to hold a piece of wood, hold it against another object in the woods, whether that's a tree or not a rock, a tree, and you carve away from yourself using the knife into the tree or into whatever you're bracing this object, stick or log against. Make sure you're cutting away from your body. Number eight, do not catch a falling knife. If the knife is falling, let it hit the ground, right? If the knife is open and you, you happen to drop it, don't ever try to catch the knife. That is a bad, bad thing to do, right? Uh, again, I've seen those accidents happen. Person grabs the blade, now what? Now you're just cutting your hand, especially if you have a super, a super sharp knife, which we're gonna get into a little later. Do not let, catch a falling knife. Number nine, do not carve on a stone. Make sure if you're carving any kind of piece of wood, it's into another piece of wood. Whether that's a log or a tree, like I said before, make sure you carve into something softer that is not going to chip or damage your blade. Number 10, hand your knife or knives to other people safely. So if you have this knife in the sheath, make sure you hand it to them Handle first, your hand on the sheet, and hand it to them like so. Even in practice mode, you're going to make sure the blade, which is in the sheet here, is away from you, and you're going to hand it to them. In the rare case that you have to handle a knife out of the sheet and hand it to somebody, make sure the blade is away from your hand, and you hand it to them like so, and then have them grab, grab the knife. Once they have a hold of the knife, then you let go. Number 11. Always pay attention when operating with a knife. Now, we all, come, we all become very comfortable with handling knives. I got too comfortable about a year ago, two years ago, and I was talking to my buddy, and I looked away, and boom, right into my hand, right? So it was a nice cut. It needed about three, four stitches, but I sucked it up. I continued on the trip. I just wrapped it really tight, and I kept about my business. If you cut yourself with a knife and it needs stitches, go to the hospital. Uh, me, on the other hand, I know for the most part what I'm doing when it comes to medical stuff, so I can, um, I can do that, but for everyone else, you cut yourselves on the knives and it's pretty bad, take your ass to the hospital. Number 12, keep your knife sharp, never work with a dull knife. If your knife is dull, sharpen it. If you can't get an edge on it, it is time to throw that knife away. If you're working with a dull knife, you're gonna expend more energy and you're going to possibly slip up because you you won't cut through the wood like you want to or, or skin through the wood you're going to break it and the knife can go flying somewhere right so if you followed all the safety tips beforehand to this point yes if you hit a notch you're probably going to fly into another piece of wood but you're going to exert yourself trying to carve this piece of wood with a dull knife number 13 do not fight with notches and pieces of wood either work around it or find another piece to work with but never fight through a notch. I've seen that happen before. I've seen people pop uh, through a notch and then it just, knife falls out of their hand because they were sitting there pulling one way, fighting the knife with the other way, and the knife goes flying out their hand. That being said, don't fight with a notch. If you run into a piece of stick that has a notch, find something else. There are probably trillions of branches in the forest around you. Pick another one and work with that. Number 14. When sheathing your knife on a belt, be very careful how you do so. I've also seen that accident and had to take the guy to the hospital and I lost the day because he was trying to be cool and sheathed his knife. And when it got jammed in the kydex, he ran his hand down the blade and opened it right up. He needed, I think, two stitches or three stitches. That being said, be careful when you're sheathing your knife. Look down at it if you have to. Don't sit there, and, and I know that a lot of us become comfortable, and we feel around, and then we can drop it in. Yes, some of us can do that. But if you're unfamiliar with a knife, and you're unfamiliar with that sheath, look down at it, and then drop the knife in. Don't try to be Mr. Cool and, and, and do it without looking, and then cut yourself open. All right, guys. So anyway, this was the Angry Prepper. That was my quick uh, knife safety tips. And if you have any extra tips or any other tips that you want to add, please drop them in the comment section below. So, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also like and subscribe to my Urban channel. And if you are into photography, 
you can head over to the Angry Lensman channel and like and subscribe to that. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.